As your moderator and vice moderator, we want to share some very important news with you. A lot has happened in our faith community and in our world in 2020. It is hard to keep up the flow of information on a near daily basis. We want to first thank you for your support, both in spirit and in prayer and in financial commitments. While Stewardship and Finance will be sending out a report very soon, we are pleased to say that our giving, almost all of which has been shifted to virtual or mail-in giving, is on pace with last year. Thank you for keeping up your financial commitments to the ministries of the church during this time of crisis. We were also approved for a PPP loan, and so thus far finances for 2020 are holding strong. However, we also wanted to point out that per perhaps one of the most important behind the scenes support has been the Random Acts of Kindness Fund, which assists church members in crisis and in need through job loss, medical expenses, etc. Your generosity has helped many fellow church members who have been terminated from employment or furloughed. Thank you for being a church to one another. As many of you know, early in the pandemic, the church council decided to withdraw our $850,000 offer to buy 1101 Curtis Street, the Christ Scientist church property, because we are uncertain as to how COVID-19 and the subsequent health concerns and potential economic losses would affect our church finances and stewardship. As David has said, the pandemic has not undermined our finances. One of the reasons for this update today is to let you know that our neighbors next door have approached us with an offer to sell us the property at terms that are more advantageous than had previously been offered. They are now eager to sell without any contingencies or stipulations and we have renewed discussions with them. Church Council knows that the property meeting vote from last year was an overwhelming 10 to 1 outcome to move toward the property of purchase next door, the 1101 Curtis property, using up to 850,000 of the endowment funds. Now, while that's been a standing vote of the congregation, Council also is aware that much has transpired from the vote of June 16th, 2019 to today, June of 2020. You may have new questions and concerns or different options that you want to explore. Some of the dynamics at play when we began this journey to acquire the property may have changed. They may not have. We only know when we ask. Part of any major congregational process, including stewardship and land decisions, is to allow for space to listen and discern in prayer. Well, hi, church. As you've already probably heard from other church leadership, there's been a call for an online informational session, an update, really, um, some on the finances, but also on uh, the new property um acquisition that was tabled due to being pandemic and now a new uh re-entry into dialogue with the church of christ scientists and um so the church leadership uh, pastors included would like to have this session so that uh, you can ask questions uh, raise any concerns again about this unique opportunity in the life of the church and we realize, you know, we we don't have meetings or gatherings like we normally do right now because of the pandemic. Uh, so this will be hosted virtually Monday, seven o'clock this coming week. Um, and as we're trying to stay at home best we can, and some of us are returning to work, some of us have been furloughed, uh, trying to figure out childcare as we're going back to work, um, looking at best practices both from the CDC the state and federal recommendations and guidelines, as long as from as well as from our own denomination and our own reopen team. So some of that you'll be getting word about staff coming back on the Monday and uh, small groups on on target to begin in in mid July here and some outdoor worships with the hope that we can return to some form of indoor worship here in the early fall. I want to thank you. Uh, for your continued support of the church, for your continued perseverance, 
body, mind, and spirit through everything that has happened this year and for your continued prayer and commitment to a more just and loving world in knowing that no matter what we face as a church, as individuals or as community, we never face it alone. It's always through the power of the risen Christ that we meet everything, I hope, head on, knowing that we have a great God who bends towards grace and justice and compassion always, and whose victory on the cross echoes throughout history for the poor, the marginalized, for you and for me, and for everybody in between. So may God's peace be with us. We hope you can join us for this informational session as in true congregational form, we participate in the life and community of the church. Thanks again, and we'll see you virtually Monday night at 7.